Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. Oh, what? I was always told that monsters were under my bed and in my closet, but I never really bought that because I was like, why are they hiding? Shouldn't they just come in the front door and eat me? <laughs> Mom, Dad. <laughs> my dad always said I was irresponsible. Oh, sure. He just said that because every time that he would look under my bed, there'd be a lot of old food, dirty laundry, and monsters. <laughs> every door in the Inman home, that's my last name, guys, look me up on Facebook, <laughs> is broken because we buy a lot. <laughs> the most traumatizing experience I've ever had was when we were at my friend's birthday party and she and her friends locked me in a dark closet for well over an hour. Oh. <laughs> I was at the sleepovers and I thought I would be the funny one and get up when everybody was sleeping and be the monster and scare them and then I got punched in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Every year, my friend's birthday is right by Halloween, and so her birthday parties would always be a mo like a Halloween monster party sleepover. So we'd play like toilet paper mummy and uh, pin the tail on the boogeyman, and we eat pumpkin candy. <laughs> my brother and I used to fight all the time, all the time. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> all the time. It's just so rough out there. 
<laughs> it's just so rough out there when you're slowly changing and the monsters and the pain and the suffering and the no love and the... Ah. <laughs> I understand. That is why we will end our fighting ways and I will take you in with this collar. <laughs> we will go to the vet. I will put shots in you. I will make you a true pet. Domesticated to the most extent. You will live in a cage in my basement. <laughs> Tony, you better give me my mom's back. Sugar, you better give it back to me. I have my friend here. Her name's Stacy. She's a little bit shorter than I am, but she could probably hurt you. Hey. Give her back! It's move-in day and I need her! There's a note on the fridge that says, just went out to get groceries, hon. Love, Mom. Tony, just give her back! My car is packed with my stuff in my dorm room. I just want her! Before I give you back your mom, who am I gonna have to take care of Tony? You got your new college dormitory to take care of you! <coughs> Tony, you're 45! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 